B.O.B., a.k.a. Bobby Ray, catapulted his career with the hit singles Haters Everywhere in 2007 and Nothing On You, which dropped earlier this year on his debut album, B.O.B. Presents The Adventures of Bobby Ray. On today's episode of Hip Hop On Demand, Spotlight, we catch up with the versatile MC to gain more insight on his partnership with Grand Hustle and T.I., touring across the country, and we find out what really happened with the absence of Haley Williams at the BET Awards. All right here on Hip Hop On Demand. I always envisioned the music reaching as many people as possible. And I think that's out of out of all the things that I intended on doing, I think that that's one of the main visions that I can see taking shape. Just from traveling and seeing different places in different countries just in the past few months, it's just amazing how 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 many people the music has, has reached from me never even going to a country, you know, never never doing an interview or a phone or anything and going to a country and seeing how people react to the music. I'm working with T.I. Is, is, is a very creative environment, you know, very creative space. Um, it's like it's like a, it, it, it's so many directions to go in, you know, we're in the studio, so many directions to go in, we just kind of, we just have to pace ourselves, you know, we got all the time in the world, so, you know, it's no rush to really try to make a, you know, you know, make anything expected, I guess. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Haley really wanted to to make the BT Awards to to sing the hook, and you know we really we really wanted her to sing it, and you know really it was a decision. It was a really tough decision. You know, you know we, we didn't know whether we should just let the track play or you know get somebody to sing it or or you know we we just didn't know so. Um, BET came up with an idea to get Keisha Cole to sing it, so, you know, we were cool with that, and, you know, that's the idea we ran with, and, you know, the, the feedback that I got was, was, you know, I got both sides of it, because the people who were real fans of the record, they, they really wanted Haley to sing it, you know, they really, you know, just the fact that she wasn't there, it just kind of made them like, dang, where's Haley at, but, you know, a lot of people like the fact that Keisha Cole sang it, you know, so it's, you can't really say what, you know, what was the best thing to do. It was just a dream. My name is Bob, I approve this message, and I'm gone. It was just a dream.